Yo, Berserker charging in like a fucking boss. Same thing with fucking Gilgamesh as well. It's like, this is where this fight's gonna go down, people. Like, oh, just such an incredible ending to that episode. It's like, how fucking, like, just full of fucking just confidence and just shit-eatingness has fucking Gilgamesh just got when he's just standing up saying, yes, let us recreate a battle of the history. <laughs> like, this motherfucker's so badass. He's just there chilling like a fucking boss and he don't give no fucks. He's there like fucking taking on homunculuses like they're nothing. Like fucking Edward Elwood could have taken some fucking pointers. This motherfucker just killed two homunculuses in like under like what? Five minutes? It took fucking like Edward Elwood like 68 episodes. I'm very disappointed, Edward. I'm very disappointed. Like, I mean, look at him. He's fucking just taking him by no fucking thing. So we definitely see this is like basically after the the entirety of what the fuck happened. We actually had a very more origin story based episode as we saw more of what happened with like Media or should I say Casta and finding out who our original master was and how she pretty much meet with our current one right now. It was very interesting to find that out because I never thought we'd actually get this explained in the story at all that it was gonna be in such a detailed sort of format and that was like Wow, like, this actually generally makes me give way more of a fuck for, like, Caster than I have ever gained, like, because that's the thing, they never told us anything about this person at all in the original Fate, we barely knew who she was, she was evil, yes, but it's like, we knew who she was just right at the, like, tiniest part of the end of the, like, the original series, but we had no idea who her original, like, you know, her original master was, we had no idea what like, all the backstabbing and shit was going around, like, she, to show how much she was going to deal with this, like, because after her, her master was a piece of shit, sacrificing people, really didn't trust her at all, because it's like, oh, you're a fucking witch, and he's just, like, bitch slaps him, saying, you know, I, I refuse to let you know use your noble phantasm, and, like, even so, like, this bitch managed to get away with it by using Rule Breaker on herself. So now that she used it on herself, she isn't affected by the command seals, and when he's, like, ordering, saying, you know, you go kill yourself, she's like, just there, like, you want to try this? And just sets the fucker on fire. And then fucking Lancer just appears. It's just like, hmm. Because he, like, the motherfucker wanted a deal saying, okay, I'll trade you Lancer, you know, for a caster. Like, tell me to meet up with Lancer. I just like how Kotamina is just, like, smirking. It's like, hmm. Yeah, you want you want to meet him? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> like Coach Mina. Come on, man, this man saw this a fucking mile away. <laughs> Even if you haven't seen Fate Zero or anything before, I think you can kind of know that he knew that this shit was gonna go tits up like way before then. But definitely a very fucking interesting part with whole finding out about like uh, media. And it's like you know, it's an interesting see, like how different of like a maze she is compared to the other. When the, she's there making this tiny little fucking crystal out of like six human beings and fucking like she just makes a ginormous crystal just like with the flat back of her hand saying oh you humans don't see this shit so this shows just how fucking over our own league and this is why she had like the fucking up there to become a servant because she was fucking legendary with her magical skills like look at fucking everyone else like fucking struggling and cast is just able to do shit like that like with fucking no problems whatsoever but honestly, the best part of this episode is, like, when we saw fucking Rin and Shiro, like, going in, fucking going to deal with, like, talking to the Elis deal and say, like, L listen here, you are our best chance to go against Casta, you know, Berserker is Hercules, she's Media, you know, these two have some fucking issues from the past. Let's fucking team up with bit with Ilya so we can get rid of that motherfucker. And pretty much, here's a wild, like, you pretty much get into, like, a fucking wild dog. And so someone you hate extremely much, you put a giant big fucking juicy steak on their back. Like, you pin a fucking piece of paper and say, there you go. Fuck him up. That's pretty much what they're going to do with Berserker. But when fucking Shinji, that piece of shit, arrived there with Gilgamesh, he's just like, yeah, let's fuck shit up. And fucking Gilgamesh is like, Killing those two servant bitches like they were fucking nothing. Like, I, and they were homunculuses as well. I was like, and then the episode just ends with fucking just like Berserker crashing through the wall with a fucking blade like that. It's like, definitely next week. And this is very right. A uh, uh, good friend of mine did save straight away from when we was going to see the second like half of this season that shit was going to hit the fan. And it's hitting the fan pretty heavy when you've got Berserker in the midst uh, alongside with Gilgamesh alongside just burning fucking human corpses. A lot, like, a lot of shit is happening definitely. And it's like really going to seem like it's going to climax 
pretty quickly and i'm really curious to see like what we're going to be doing for the next 10 episodes of this series to see like how the fuck do you like keep this like shit going like especially with berserker and gilgamesh like you're having something hype happen already like that it's like i felt like that would be something like episode 19 20 or some shit like that if there's like these two motherfuckers gonna fight so very interesting to see where this series is definitely gonna be going along this route but really enjoyed this episode i think this is one is an eight this week but let me know in the conversation down below but that's all for me so thank you very much for watching as always and i'll see you guys next time